The alarmingly increasing caesarean deliveries and sufferings of expecting mothers has now become a global concern. Dev Discourse firmly believe that the sufferings of the to-be mothers could be minimized and happiness increased in their lives through positive discourse and sensitization of various stakeholders associated with maternal health care. This would be helpful in holistic development of the fetus, well-being of expectant mothers and minimizing caesarean deliveries which has become a global epidemic. In pursuance of its commitment as a global media platform, Dev Discourse's association with Bhagat Phol Singh Mahila Vishva Vidya Alay, a premier woman university in India, launched the global communication campaign, Mother, Not Patient, on October 15, 2019. The campaign is aimed at empowering to be mothers socio-psychologically thereby contributing in the achievement of SDG 3.4 and SDG 5.6 of the Sustainable Development Goals 2030 of the United Nations. Professor Ipshita Bansal, Dean, Academic Affairs of the University launched the campaign by signing the pledge. I hereby discontinue to use the term patient for pregnant women and resolve to work for ensuring their mental health and well-being through positive communication. On the occasion, the healthcare and social work professionals expressed their views. Dr. Manju Panwar, head, Department of Social Work, said. I congratulate Dev Discourse for launching this campaign aimed at achieving one of the most important goals of SDGs. The campaign, Mother, Not Patient, is a step towards realizing the fact that women should not be treated as patients, rather as to be mothers who need love, respect, and care. The event coordinator, Dr. Deepali Mathur emphasized that when an expecting mother is treated as a patient, the whole approach changes. She exhorted the health professionals to discontinue the term patient for pregnant women and call them to be mothers or expectant mothers. Dr. Salani Gupta applauded the initiative of Dev Discourse. She said, I believe the same and I think that the expectant mother is not a patient. Dr. G. K. Panda informed that in Ayurveda, the term Garbini or expectant mother is used for pregnant women not the patient. The speakers also discussed the pros and cons of the C-section delivery. Highlighting the consequences of caesarean section, Dr. Gupta said, caesarean section is not just a surgery open and close. Once a caesarean, the mother becomes a patient. She is open to a lot of complications that can be temporary or permanent. Dr. Rajiv Manandru recommended the medical fraternity to make the expectant mothers aware about the adverse effects of C-section delivery while Dr. Panda presented an Ayurvedic approach to solve the problem. The experts did not mince words to highlight and flay the non-scientific practices of both, traditions and modernity responsible for problem. The excerpts highlighted that the fear of pain among expectant mothers, social background, possible litigation, particular time of delivery predicted by astrologers and sometimes healthcare professionals are also responsible for pushing expectant mothers for caesarean deliveries. Though reports suggest profiteering in healthcare industry as a major factor responsible for alarmingly increasing caesarean deliveries worldwide, the experts urged not to look every health professional with suspicion, and urged the medical fraternity to apply a wiser approach before deciding to conduct caesarean deliveries. In her concluding remark, the chief guest Professor Bansal said, At the end of this beautiful program, I would like to thank all the speakers and campaign organizers for their endeavor in bringing a change in society. I strongly believe that this campaign will be successful in bringing awareness among healthcare professionals and all the stakeholders related to the maternal health care. We welcome organizations to join the campaign as health partners, educational partner, SDG partners, corporate partners, and international partners. Besides, we have an interesting volunteer program for the campaign. You can also join this global communication campaign simply by signing the pledge.
Let's be part of the change at increasing happiness in the lives of to be mothers. Subscribe to our channel. Just click on the bell icon for all the latest updates.